In this question, we're looking at the four quantum numbers that define a space an electron can occupy about an atom. The first one, n, is the principal quantum number. It can have values starting at 1 and go upward by integers to 2, 3, 4, 5, as high as you need to. L is known as the angular momentum quantum number. It starts at 0 and could go up to 1, 2, to whatever n minus 1 is. m sub l is the magnetic quantum number. It too has integer values that go from plus l through 0 to whatever minus l is. This will be explained more later. m sub s is the spin quantum number and this can have only two values, plus one-half if the electron is oriented with the north pole up, and minus one-half if the electron is oriented with its pole or magnetic field going down. Our next question is, if n equal four, what are the possible values for L? Well, we know that L starts at zero, and can go all the way up to what n minus 1 is. So n minus 1 is 4 minus 1, or 3. So our possible values for L are 0, 1, 2, or 3. Our next question is, for each L, what are the possible values for m sub L? Well, when L equals 0, we've only got one choice. m sub L equals 0. However, when L equals 1, m sub L can either be equal to plus 1, 0, or minus 1. That is what I was attempting to explain right here. If L is equal to 2, our choices for m sub L are plus 2, plus 1, 0, minus 1, or minus 2. And finally, if L is equal to 3, our m sub l choices are plus 3, plus 2, plus 1, 0, and minus 3, minus 2, minus 1. And that's how you work with quantum numbers.